Hey guys, it's Kara here and I'm back on another video. Today I'll be talking about some best sidecar alternatives that works with both Mac and PC. Easy Canvas versus Duet Display Pro. Which one is worth it for us artists? So both of these apps give your iPad the ability to be used as a drawing tablet on both your Mac and PC, but they're both vastly different and they have vastly different price point to prove that. So let's get into some of that nitty gritty in this video. The first category is price. Easy Canvas costs $12 after a 14 day trial that lets you try out the app completely free for two weeks hassle-free compared to do it display where the base app costs $9.99 and you need do it display pro to even have the drawing feature with your computer and that's an extra $29.99 per year making a total of $40 $40 app versus a $12 one-time payment it seems like easy canvas has an edge here but hear me out let me get into these points right now let's get into the pros and cons of easy canvas and do it display pro would do it display pro version since that's the only version of the app that lets you draw you can use it as an extended screen compared to easy canvas where you can only mirror your screen and that's a big deal especially since this feature works wirelessly and that means you could use your main computers for other things, pull up references and stuff like that compared to Easy Canvas where that's not possible since it's just replicating your screen. So you can't just, you can use your laptop for extra screen real estate. And that's a feature that isn't worth paying a yearly subscription for that you have to debate. With that being said, using it as a whole separate screen is a big feature itself since there's a whole other app for that. There's so many other apps to use your iPad as a second screen. I heard of Lunar Display. There's a lot of remote desktop apps that kind of do the similar thing. But with Do It Display Pro, you're getting not only the drawing tablet, but you're getting a second screen app, which might be worth it for a lot of you. I personally find it very useful when I'm on the go, I'm freelancing on the go. I can have Photoshop on my iPad, drag it over, have my reference. And if I need to do anything on it, I can draw a straw directly on it wirelessly or wired and that's a feature for me that I feel like is worth paying is worth writing off my taxes but if you're somebody else that's totally fine since it's a subscription model you can cancel anytime and you'll still you still have the base app to do the main thing with so you can still draw with your iPad which is also a downside it's a little tangent but I think it's worth it dividing it 250 per month it's worth that feature. Another pro to do it display, we're just talking about the pro model for the rest of this video, so just in case I don't say do it display pro, don't think that you could buy the basic $9.99 app and get these features. I'm talking about the pro, I just don't want to say that in a pro and con. Just wanted to clear that up. The pro to this app is that it has adaptive resolution, making the apps more optimized for the iPad. Desktop app optimized for the iPad. And it works amazing. That's one of my favorite features compared to Easy Canvas where there's black bars when you open it up or you have to zoom in where you cut out most of the features from the screen, which I don't like. And that is a plus, but also a downside on the 11 inch ipad or lower because the icons are way too tiny on photoshop on clip paint studio on a lot of drawing programs yeah it's nice that it's adaptive for the ipad but it's a downside that i can't scale it like i can't with easy canvas and the icons are way too tiny i don't own a bigger ipad bigger than 11 inch so it's gives me a headache so take that with a grain of salt it works but there's some downside to it. I have to like literally, maybe it's because I'm blind. If you're not, if you don't have eyesight issues, maybe you'll be fine with this point, but it's like a win some and lose some with this feature. The pro would do with display is that it works both wirelessly and plugged in compared to easy canvas where you can only use it when you're plugged in. And that's a big bummer. But at the same time, 
duet display doesn't work the best on wireless mode but when it does it's amazing i've done full illustration just on my bed it, it's nice i could just bring my bluetooth keyboard and the controls work and i don't have to be close to my computer it's a joy when you have a stable wi-fi connection but if you don't have a stable wi-fi connection just go with easy canvas and just have your thing plugged in one of my main downsides for Juit Display is the multi-touch feature doesn't work as well. It's really buggy. It's worse than Easy Canvas. Easy Canvas, you can easily zoom in and out without having to <gasps> any trouble, no hassle whatsoever. But Juit Display, they're mm, they need to fix that. The downside of Duet Display is that there's no on-screen shortcuts built into the app. You just have Windows, and that's kind of frustrating even though the apps are more adaptive to the ipad because of the adaptive resolution it fits nicely and stuff like that but there's no physical undo and redo compared to um on easy canvas that has a little sidebar that has that that has color picker which is extremely useful and yeah that's one of the downside for longer drawing sessions but since it's more adaptive if you have that built into your drawing program you'll be fine but still since the icons are so tiny it's like a pain so i give easy canvas this point another downside is that the pressure sensitivity is affected when you're working wirelessly like this app works best when it's plugged in if you have a bad wi-fi connection so it's like you're paying all that money might as well go with easy canvas if you're mostly gonna have it plugged in the biggest plus and downside of Duet Display is being able to use as an extended monitor. So that means its weakest point is being used in mirror mode. I've been having so much trouble getting the mirror mode to work. It only worked one time in one of my videos. After that, it kept giving me problems. It only works in extended mode. And so if you don't prefer to have that all the time, that may be a huge downside for some of you guys. For me, I can handle it. It's not too bad. But it's just like what if i want to go back and forth so there's just a lot of bugs with some of the extra features that come with do it display pro to easy canvas here are some of the pros and cons for that biggest plus is that easy canvas is a one-time purchase easy canvas has customizable buttons like button bar and that is extremely useful they have your basic undos redos and they have the rest of these right here Easy Canvas has the better gesture controls, so it's, when you zoom in and out, you don't have any errors whatsoever. Easy Canvas also has customizable on-screen shortcuts. So these shortcuts you see right here, you could customize them and add in your own, which is nice. Um, I don't know if you can customize them per app, which is kind of like, if they had that, that would be really cool. Like if you can have certain shortcuts for like Clip Studio, certain shortcuts for Photoshop, things like that. That's one thing I wish they would have. The pressure sensitivity works well with both of those apps, but I feel like I get a lot less lag with Easy Canvas, even when Do It Display Pro is plugged in. It works pretty good as well, but I mainly use Do It Display wirelessly because that's what I'm paying so much more for. So I gotta give this point to Easy Canvas for always working the way it was advertised. Pro to Easy Canvas is the ease of use to installation was pretty simple you just download the app on the ipad download it on your computer plug in your device and boom as long as you have it on your other computer it starts working so give ease of use to easy canvas i didn't have as much trouble with do it display pro but it was a lot more steps one of the cons to easy canvas is that it can only be used as a mirrored screen as i mentioned before no extended so whatever you see on your laptop screen, that's what you're going to see on Easy Canvas. Current moment, it doesn't have any wireless feature, so you can only use it wired in. And the downside for Easy Canvas is that it only works plugged in. You don't have, you don't even have the option to work wirelessly. You need to be plugged in to your laptop. Both of them, both Easy Canvas and Do It Display Pro, work with both Mac and PC. The pressure works great on both of them wired, so they're head to head in that category. Even though I feel like I'm giving points to Easy Canvas just because the only reason I popped with Display Pro, besides at first it wasn't working with my iPad, 
with my iPad 2020 is the wireless feature and that doesn't work as well so it's like but wired both of them work pretty awesome both of them support pressure, tilt sensitivity, palm rejection is really great on both of these. I know some of the cons I'm saying it's kind of nitpicking and stuff like that. That's because these apps are the baseline. They do what they advertise to do. They work as they turn your iPad into a drawing tablet for your computer. And it, the features work so great that the extra features that we're getting for do with display pro i have to really nail them down because it's like yeah two dollars per month and stuff like that but that's not another bill that you're adding on to your arsenal so it has to really fit my needs or like i could just use the way cheaper model that does the basic things right you know so that's why i wanted to really emphasize that Another update is that Easy Canvas now works with the 2020 iPad Pro. In my last couple of videos, it was not working, which is why I had to look for alternatives like Duet Display Pro that I'm happy that I did because I fell in love with the wireless feature, the adaptiveness. Yeah, the icons are really tiny, but it's something that I can personally get over it just to be able to just draw from my computer wirelessly is worth it so much is worth it to me so much more and since it's an app it's always in updates just like easy canvas a couple years ago even a couple months ago these apps were at the level that they were at now so i'm gonna continue to do updates on both of them so stay subscribed post notifications as i'll if there's any updates with these apps i'll definitely let you guys know a software does grow over time a lot of the problems that i have with easy canvas or duet display pro is something that can easily be fixed in like one major software updates which is awesome for us consumers the verdict both of these apps are amazing alternative to Sidecar that you could use to turn your iPad into a drawing tablet for your PC. I specify as PC because that's what I use them for. I don't have a Mac. That's why I got these apps and tried both of them. I love both of them. Both of them does what it needs to do. If you only have the budget for one, I would say go with Easy Canvas. It's the cheaper one. It does the basic thing that you need it to do if you have the money to spend and you're a working artist you could really benefit from using your ipad as a second screen as well as a drawing tablet instead of just the drawing feature because you could use the second screen feature with with just plugged in with do it display pro i definitely think it's worth it you could use it as a tax write-off it's one of the tools that you're using so those are my key points. I'm going to continue to use both, where whichever one that I feel like it. Um, if I'm by my computer, I'm going to obviously use Easy Canvas a lot more. If I'm doing wireless mode, I'm definitely going to switch over to do it display, but whichever one I feel at the moment. If there's any updates on any of these apps, as both of them are continuing getting support, like six months ago, seven months ago, they weren't as good as they were today. I definitely am going to keep making videos to help you guys make better decisions for your tools, not just the hardware wise. Software plays a big role in what we do as artists as creatives whatever you do software plays a big role on it and i gotta say these apps are a fantastic choice whichever one you choose so go at that if you guys enjoy this video you guys want to see these babies in action like you want more check out these two playlists right here up to the card i know i'm printing over here but two playlists right here showing you guys all my videos of easy canvas do it display pro you guys could see, i did my recent video was a drawing video where i was drawing slow and then time lapse so you guys can really see how the wireless feature works and the first couple of videos was like some of my very first impressions of the both of those apps so yeah if you guys enjoy that please subscribe it's the thing that i do here i'm the border of art and technology so see you guys in my next one bye